Hey guys, what's going on? Sentient Potato here, and we are going to be trying Alani Coffee Protein Coffee, vanilla flavored. I figured, you know what, I am actually a massive fan of coffee drinks, and just coffee in general. So, why not try this? Supposedly it has 100 milligrams of caffeine, 90 calories, and 10 grams of protein. But let's see what the uh, thing itself actually says. Uh, let's see. 2.5 grams of fat, 1.5 of which is saturated, um, 15 milligrams of cholesterol, 190 milligrams of sodium, which is a bit high, but lower than I've seen on some, 8 grams of carbs, 1 gram of fiber, uh, 10 grams of protein, no vitamin D, 263 my, uh, milligrams of calcium, though, and 232 milligrams of potassium. Nice! That should help with my occasional flare-ups I get of, um... Oh, shit, what's it? Charlie Horses. Let me just make sure this is mixed. So, uh... Yeah, seems fine. Let's bust her open. Ah! <laughs> Why the fuck does it smell like Lunchables turkey? Why the hell does it taste like Lunchables turkey? Like, you know, the stuff that comes with the turkey and cheese crackers, not like the uh, sandwich meat. They put way too much salt in this for the amount of sugar that's in there. If I had to honestly give this a rating out of 10... This would quite easily be, just on my first couple of sips, as well as the smell, this would be a uh, 3 out of 10. Even the uh, Oakhurst brand um, coffee milk, or coffee with milk, is vastly superior. Yeah, no, this is not getting better. Like at all. This is rough, even. I mean, yeah, I'm drinking it, but that's because it's coffee. Yes, no, that was unfair of me. Let's give this a more realistic rating. Five out of ten, because while this is bad, it's not Folgers. Like, Folgers is what I consider the baseline for coffee in the way of it's rot cut, everybody knows it, but it's cheap. Everyone can afford it. So, I say everyone, but you know what I mean. It's, for when it comes to coffee, this Alani stuff is vastly superior to Folgers. But again, that's a low bar. Folgers gets that weird fish oily taste after a while. Whereas this does not have the fish oily taste. This just has an odd, like, f overly processed turkey flavor, which is throwing me off. So yeah, let's be, let's be of a n nicer rating at 5 out of 10, because let's be real, as Folgers, that's like a 4 out of 10. Maxwell House is a 4.5 out of 10, so this Alani Coffee, yeah, 5 out of 10 actually makes sense. So yeah, thanks for watching, see you guys soon.